Mike and Heather are invited to Coleman, Texas, where the call is put out. It's Heather's first turkey shoot opportunity. Will she take a Tom? And Buffalo Mountain Ranch, Texas, has does, has bucks. Mike makes the call to take one down today on the wildlife. Wildlife is brought to you by Schmeiser Archery and in part by Broadhead Barn, Yeti Coolers, Commando Hunting Products, Burt Coyote Luminox, Lakewood Products, and Trophy Ridge. Shooting the world's finest broadhead. Can your tree stand do that? I didn't think so. Now with a twisted timber, you can. Hunt for that mature whitetail from the crooked and twisted trees where he lives. No tools or shims needed. Hook it, level it, and hunt where you need to. Get a twisted timber tree stand and hunt where no man has hunted before. Can your bow case do this? Is it tough enough to protect your bow? Meet the bow file from Lakewood Products. Featuring drop-in design with quiver on storage, accessory and arrow case, all-in-one containment, ATV D-ring attachment, a 10-year warranty, and it's TSA approved. Serious hunters demand serious equipment. Get serious, get a bow file. Are you shooting the world's finest broadhead? Heather is in Coleman, Texas, in multiple locations to take down multiple targets. Never had a shot at a tom turkey before. If she has her way, the bird could be the word on the wildlife. You know, I had pretty pretty good luck um, so far there in Coleman, and we had decided to uh, attempt a uh, a gun blind, and um, Steve liked to call this blind the Hilton. It was top of the line, pretty nice. Um, it was cold that morning, so I thought, you know, this would be a sure fine way to, to stay a little warmer. And um, I knew that if we had had the chance of, of taking anything in this blind, we were going to have to call it in because. Um, Everything was set up way out of, of range for me, and so we had got to see um, a couple of bucks come in, obviously too far out. Um, we got to see a couple of does playing around and things, and had some luck yesterday. Made a good shot on a, on a nice buck. <laughs> oh, shot right there. Hey guys, welcome back to the wildlife. Um, we made a recovery on the deer that I that I shot last night. We've had some some nice buck come in here this morning, and no good shots too far. We could hear turkey gobbling all morning long, and you know it's it's pretty exciting to hear 
Mike had talked about taking me out turkey hunting in the springtime, and I hadn't had the opportunity to, to go out and, you know, shoot turkey. Put my good cameraman here to work and have him call me in some turkey here soon and see what we can go get down there. So my camera guy kind of looks at me and he's like, you want to call in some turkey? You want to shoot a turkey? And I was like, yeah. I made the mistake of being in this blind and, and not actually pulling back my bow to see if I, you know, I could do it with no problem. And so it was a little bit of a challenge. I, I had to kind of stand up in the blind and um, drew back and I was front to back in, the, in this Hilton. Turkey baby. Good job, Josh. Teamwork there. Oh my gosh. Let's go track this baby. Let's go get him. She's standing outside of her blind and everything. She seems to be pretty happy and everything. So we got up there and I said, what, you know, what happened or whatever? And she said that she had shot a turkey. And I said, that's, that's awesome because I, I shot a turkey too. Get up there and she actually shot a big, big gobbler, you know, big tom and everything. And we heard him. Oh, I see feathers on the fence. We heard him flopping around over here. We have feathers. It's always a good sign. You know, I knew I made a, a good shot on the, the bird, and he kind of jumped, skipped, hopped, whatever you want to call it, through the fence, left feathers. Um, so I knew kind of, you know, which way, which direction he went, um, following the blood trail, through a creek, back up the creek, a um, little bit of a walk, but, but I was stoked. I mean, I was on a trail, so I was excited. I see a pink arrow. Got to this bird, and it turned out to be uh, a much larger bird than, than what I thought I had shot, and uh, I was tickled pink. Mr. Tom is down. Check this out. Right in time for Thanksgiving. We're here in Coleman, Texas, right outside of Abilene, um, out here doing a little whitetail hunting. And actually, my, my awesome camera guy, Josh Moore, called in this little tom for me. Ooh, it's heating up here in Texas. I want to give a, a shout out to Steve Castile and, and Keith Hayes for giving me the opportunity to come down and, and hunt on their land. First turkey here, baby. Matthew's Jewel. Came through this time, awesome. Thank you, sir. So we get it back to the truck and then I drop the tailgate and show them my turkey. And he's a little, little bit smaller than hers. Not a whole lot, but a little bit smaller and he didn't really have a really very big beard or anything like that. But it, it was still a turkey, a cool turkey with a bow. But it, <laughs> it was nice. 
but hers was a lot bigger and I was really proud of her for shooting such a, a great trophy with a bow because they're really really hard to get with a bow small kill zone but really cool trophy You know, me and Mike had talked about uh, going turkey hunting in the spring, and you know, he had made several comments of you know how difficult these birds are to kill with a bow, and um, just because their kill zone is so small. And I guess you know, once you you see these birds coming in, the adrenaline, you don't really have much time to, to think about it. Especially, I, I didn't anyway. And first turkey, baby. Being able to take a turkey with my bow has just pretty much added to my bucket list. So, you know, for the springtime, I'm, I'm going for my turkey slam. So I'm stoked, I'm excited, and I'm ready to get it rolling. Yeah, it's always fun at Buffalo Mountain Ranch because they've, they've got an indoor archery range, and we always try to take advantage of it to shoot our bows and make sure, through our travels and stuff, make sure our sights and everything are on and, and everything's working properly. Well, we get in there, and I shoot, I'm, I'm in there shooting my bow, and camera guys in there just filming to get some you know get some extra footage for the show and uh i get in there and i shoot a perfect era i think just perfect or whatever just hits dead center it's on no it was me five bucks if you can hit the luminant okay he made a little bet with with heather is uh try to shoot my luminox so she gets up there and and, and shoots and it's like <laughs> My girl. Wow, I mean she almost really splits my ear, I think. And the thing about her is don't ever tell her she can't do it because she's gonna prove you wrong every time. Hang on. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> The indoor range is in there, it's, it's, it's like 20 yards, I believe, but it's, it's just perfect little setup for us to, uh, to shoot and have fun. Yeah, this is, this is what you're supposed to do, you know. That's how you put them in there like that. <laughs> That's good. I think you know, I'm always up for a challenge. Um, there's not many times um, I can get one over on Mike or get anywhere close to him, but I try and... Hey man, practice how you play. Uh, it, it just goes to show that the practice pays off. It's the five P's. I know y'all know about the five P's, right? What's that? Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Heather bagged a buck and took a tom in Coleman, Texas, and was right on target at Buffalo Mountain Ranch. Now it's Mike's turn to hit the bullseye at Buffalo Mountain. More arrow slinging next on The Wild Life. The Wild Life is brought to you in part by Discount Wheel and Tire, Martin Archery, Vanguard, True Flight Manufacturing, Glow Peep, Elusive Wildlife, and Hips Archery Targets. Are you shooting the world's finest broadhead? It's about the if you're hunting for more about your favorite hunting show, The Wildlife with Mike and Heather, track it down on the web. Do you love the wildlife? If so, check out our website, TWLTV.com. TWLTV.com has all you need to complete your hunt for the wildlife. For news, reviews, and all of our exciting hunts. It's at TWLTV.com. Keep up with America's favorite bow hunting couple, and there's more. For all your wildlife gear and great products. Remember, TWLTV.com. Get what you need for your hunts. Find out more about Mike and Heather's events and how you can join the fun. For our current schedule and upcoming events. And to watch past episodes, go to TWLTV.com. It's all at TWLTV.com. Easy to find, easy to use. Watch the wildlife on TV and then check the web. So remember, TWLTV.com. And remember to like us on Facebook at The Wildlife TV. The you smile
Plaza Paz. Are you shooting the world's finest broadhead? And I'm proud to be just who I am. Buffalo Mountain Ranch, Abilene, Texas is a great place to hunt. Mike makes the call to all comers. What will it be this time? do si do or will Mike score large with a big buck with his bow this time on the wildlife? We left Coleman, Texas, got head to Buffalo Mountain Ranch, and we were trying to get there just in time where we could get ready and get all our gear together and, and be able to go out and hunt that evening at, at Buffalo Mountain Ranch. We decided to go out and try to see if we could rattle in some, some buck. It was actually my first time out, um, you know, being able to rattle in some deer, so I was excited, interested to see what we could get to come in. I think Buffalo Mountain Ranch has got a, uh, a horse problem. Yeah. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's funny, a lot of times when we, uh, when we pull back up to, to camp at Buffalo Mountain Ranch, uh, they've got a couple of horses that, that stay out there. I don't even really know why they're there, but they're, they're there. And uh, we pull up and they've got these little feeders on the back of uh, the vehicles they take out that, you know, they have remote control feeders where they can spread corn out here or there. Well, the horses, they get into the, the corn, they tear the lids off and get into the corn, they eat all the corn out of the feeders, and it's kind of funny. Uh, one day that, uh, Chad put a little bit of, uh, I think, pepper, a bunch of pepper in one of them, and we were sitting out the window watching the horses eat the corn, and they were making some of the funniest faces, and they, they left the corn alone for a while, but I don't think it lasted too long. So what exactly is all the plan for this evening? We're going to rattle in the big boys. So the purpose of rattling is it, it makes the other bucks think that, you know, okay, there's two bucks over there fighting over our a doe that's, that's possibly in heat. And he thinks he's gonna come in and steal that doe while they're over there fighting, you know, and he's kind of trying to be really sneaky and, and make his moves, but th that's kind of the whole concept of it. And that's why they come in like they do. The guy that ranch manager, Steve Castile, he, he's got a set of uh, actual deer antlers from sheds. That, that's what you use uh, as far as for rattling. You just you bang them together. And you don't want to do it a whole lot. You want to make it actually sound like a like two bucks fighting is the best you can. A lot of people get a little too aggressive with it. If you do it right and be real conservative with it, it's really effective on how it works. Mike blows a lot of hot air sometimes, so he got the, the duties of blowing up the decoy. Yeah, that's right. This entire process should only take two to three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can put a little horse on our own lens <laughs> You know, rattling in South Texas and West Texas is probably, I think, where it actually originated, but it's very effective down there because you have a lot more bucks, a lot more does, a lot more competition between, you know, the bucks and does and stuff, so it really works good down there. And we had a lot of fun. Heather had never done it before. Yeah, it was pretty cool earlier though. We, we set up and Steve rattled in three bucks earlier. They weren't what we were looking for. They worked pretty good. The fact, the fact that they're responding is a good thing. But none were really what we were looking for, so we, we decided to pass and, and move on. As we were walking down the trail to, to the blind where we were supposed to go, I, I kind of had to stop him and stop myself and everything because there was a buck actually coming through the little meadow right there where we were supposed to be. And we waited and he went off into the brush. I got my grunt tube out and I, I grunted a couple times here and there. And sure enough, I mean, it wasn't five, six minutes, something like that. Here comes that same buck, comes out of the brush, comes right back in there and it's like, wow, I mean, how quick and how cool is this? And he comes in and he's, 
He, 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 I don't even think he knows anything here or there whatsoever. We waited for a little bit, just because just you always want to give the animal a little bit of time to expire and you don't want to push on. But we got out and I was, I was going over there where I shot him and there was just, there was blood everywhere. It, it was unreal. And I followed the trail and, and didn't even have to uh, really look that hard. I just kind of started walking and just following blood all the way. And he actually went a little further than, than what I thought he would bleeding like that. It, it was a cool, cool deal, a great experience. Seven point, old, big, mature, good deer to take out. Got a broke one right here. Awesome, man. I want to thank Steve Castile and Chad Davis and having a great time down here. Really appreciate them inviting us down to come hunt Buffalo Mountain Ranch. Having a really good time. We got my vid cam dude, Robert Nichols, rocking out behind the camera. Doing a great job, by the way. <laughs> but man, I tell you what, we just got down here. We haven't been in the blind, I don't know, five minutes or so, and this dude comes strolling by. And I knew he was a good, mature deer. I wasn't going to take him. I, wasn't, I didn't have to think twice about shooting him. right there it always feels great to take a mature buck just the right way as soon as he saw the seven pointer his mind was made up and Mike's shot is straight to the bullseye next Mike and Heather take their parting shot on the wildlife the wildlife is brought to you in part by rattlingforks.com fox stump grinding Van Zant custom knives fur and feather taxidermy woody's meat market performance paint and body crawford electric and mcqueen propane Are you shooting the world's finest broadhead? It's about the if 
You're hunting for more about your favorite hunting show, The Wildlife with Mike and Heather. Track it down on the web. Do you love the wildlife? If so, check out our website, TWLTV.com. TWLTV.com has all you need to complete your hunt for the wildlife. For news, reviews, and all of our exciting hunts. It's at TWLTV.com. Keep up with America's favorite bow hunting couple, and there's more. For all your wildlife gear and great products. Remember, TWLTV.com. Get what you need for your hunts. Find out more about Mike and Heather's events and how you can join the fun. For our current schedule and upcoming events. And to watch past episodes, go to TWLTV.com. It's all at TWLTV.com. Easy to find, easy to use. Watch the wildlife on TV and then check the web. So remember, TWLTV.com. And remember to like us on Facebook at The Wildlife TV. The Are you shooting the world's finest broadhead? I'd like to give a big thanks out to Steve Castile for having us down in Coleman, Texas, where we actually got our first double together. We killed two turkeys in the same morning, which was really cool, and then we headed off to Buffalo Mountain Ranch and had a great time there also. As always, remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, makeup. Ooh, I spit on my finger and I can't get it off. So you got, you got a sharpie? You got a sharpie? Oh, oh Dang! You're so, this will work perfect. Look how it just... See? Hey guys, we're down here in Coleman, Texas, right outside of Abilene. Um... I guess I'll go ahead and say, okay. It didn't matter what you're saying because we're recording. We are? Yeah.